An external guru, his job is just to show you that there is an internal guru. Look there. Do not crave for me. Do not run behind me. Don't make me a Masiha and put me on a pedestal. Every authentic teacher has said this. Buddha said that. A lot of people came to him and said, let's start a path. He said, no, not at all. I am not God. I am not a guru. You do not do anything like that. Otherwise, you will get stuck in another kind of maya. You are already stuck in the maya of your money and your house and your name and your fame and your wife and your husband and sex and all those things. Now, don't create one more obstacle on your path by craving for Again, a spiritual teacher and the spiritual teacher takes me here and gives me blessings and I do prayers and I do tirath and I do this and the teacher will bless me. Nope. Wrong. Absolutely wrong, he said. Buddha said, do not put me on a pedestal. How many times do you see this quote about Buddha? Yeah? All over the internet you see it. I am not God. I am a human who got there by my own effort and so can you. Yeah? Do not godify me. Do not deify me. I am there to share my experience because I found something that will help you. And where is he coming from? He has reached that level of witness consciousness where he sees everything is one. Everybody is one. So somebody else's dukkha feels so painful for him. He is actually helping himself by just telling you that look within. That's all Buddha did in all his teachings. Look within, look within, look within. Yeah. Same thing happened with Kabir. I'll tell you Kabir's story. Kamal was Kabir's son. After Kabir became so popular that people contributed and made an ashram, Kabir did not want to even do the ashram. They said, no, we, we sadhus are homeless. We need a place to just come and listen to what you teach and you also need a place to stay. So, we'll make it a very simple ashram where we just come for the teachings and that's it. And it was a very simple ashram till Kabir passed away. Huh? He didn't make any very big ashram. Simple, small place. People would come, listen to him, go back, implement in their lives. So when he became so popular, what happened to Kamal? Kamal was Kabir's son. He started having all these great ideas. We can make lots of money. We can make a path of this. And let's start the Kabir Pant. And Kabir was absolutely not. No, there will never be a Kabir Pant. At least till I am alive, there will not be a Kabir Pant. What is the meaning of Kabir Pant? Again, you are creating a section of society that now follows Kabir's teachings. And again, we are creating a divide. Oh, I am a Kabir Panthi and you are Buddha's Panthi or you are Krishna's Panthi or whatever. Again, we are creating a divide. Not at all. I am continuously explaining the same thing that we need to drop the divides. This is an absolutely wrong way to go. Kamal did not listen to him. Kamal said, think about the money that can come in. All my life I have led a poor person's life just because my father does not want to take money. So Kabir was very strong about it. Kabir said, no means no. Kamal even went to his mother and said that, you know, he listens to you. Can you convince dad? And she said, no. This even I do not agree on. Can you believe it? Kamal said, I am leaving the house and Kabir and his wife said, that's okay. That is the true Guru. He did not want to create a section in society. He did not want to divide society, create a different path again. Then again, paths, same thing happens. And till Kabir was alive, Kabir Panth was not created. Yeah. Kamal left and went. This is the real Guru. He is there to show you that the true Guru is inside. And that's it. It's over. Now you go home and you practice. Yes? Like you are coming to 
एक तस सेशन एक तस जस्ट टेलिंग यू लुक विद इन लुक विद इन whether you attend advaita session whether you attend ramana maharshi whether you come for buddha whether you come for kabir irrespective of any session you come to there is only one thing ekta is teaching you awareness awareness consciousness witness sakshi chidakasha there is just one that is the guru that is the meaning of guru tatva in the upanishads yeah why is it called guru tatva Why wasn't he called a guru purush? It's not an external guru. Guru tatwa is that element within me. I am so lost in the world. My mind is bogged down with the world. That is why I cannot see the guru tatwa. Somebody who is also a human and a friend tells me, "Look within. You will find it. It is beyond the body. It is beyond the mind." And you get it, ha? Huh? that is a guru that's it that was his job it ends there now your journey begins the real gurus the true gurus like guru nanak dev saint kabir buddha they all encouraged people to look within and walk the path on their own they wanted them to be spiritually independent not dependent on the guru not running to the guru again and again yeah not getting lost in the name and fame and the fun around the guru no no within within find the guru tatva within that is the function of an external guru very clear